Who is Lino Broca? The Heart of Philippine Cinema Catalino Ortiz Broca more famously known as Lino Broca was one of the Philippines' greatest auteurs. He was born in Pilar, Sorsogon in 1939. His father Regino, who was a huge influence on Broca, teaching him math and English as well as the arts, was killed in political murder when Broca was still young. Broca, along with his mother and brother, had to flee to live with mother's sister. But a good life was far from the rich as he and his family suffered physical and verbal abuse from his relatives and were forced to do hard labor. An experience he would carry with him throughout his career as director. Roca developed a strong interest in film during this year, particularly American films. And despite his poor upbringing, he managed to flourish academically and won a college scholarship in the country's leading academic institute, the University of the Philippines. Initially majoring in pre law, he dropped the course to study literature instead. While studying at the university, he joined the dramatic club but was criticized for his provincial accents. Then Minor, a treatment that disgusted him. Roca took this upon himself to watch his beloved American movies to practice his English father and prove his accent. A move that eventually gained him acceptance in the club, but only as a stagehand. After dropping out of college, he converted to Mormonism and devoted himself to missionary missionary work, traveling to a leper colony in Hawaii. He is the travel he then traveled to America and worked menial jobs in San Francisco for a brief period of time before turning down a chance for American citizenship, opting instead to return to Philippines to revive his interest in the filmmaking. Lino Broca is possibly the best known, the arguably most loved filmmaker in the Philippines has ever known. He is as a filmmaker con de la Cruz noted, the ultimate icon Philippines cinema. Movie of Lino Broca, Manila and the Cross of Life, Bayanco, Kapit sa Patalino, Inchang, Ora Pro Nobis, The Manila in the Claw of Life is the story of a young provincial named Julio Madiaga who goes to the city to look for his lost love. Nigaya para iso, he has one adventure after another before he finds Nigaya, who is the kept hostage by Chinese name Ahek from its opening shot of literary littered sidewalk to its final one of Julio. Hovering at the bottom of the dead end, Ally, it is a series of voluptuous images captured raw and harness. More the images are charged with the urgency, an emergency unit to Rocas. Remember Roca as a Julio in particular with maybe play as a symbol more than a fully realized character. But he does so with every nerve in his body alive. Aware straining to be unleashed, catching sight of him for the first time and scream. Then draw back, troubled by the anim animal fear in his eyes. The time you drawn in by your their liquid sensitivity. Asia was the first Philippines film over shown at the Cannes Film Festival. It was screened in the director's fortnight section of the 1978 Cannes Film Festival. It is one of the Broca's best films, some say his masterpiece. It is the film Philippines 
to be shown at the Cannes Film Festival and to use Tondo as a shooting location, a box office trailer. In Xiang received good preview, preview from critics, some of whom regarded it as one of Roca's best. The film rights were transferred to the Film Development Council of the Philippines in, 19, in 2015. Producer Bobby Kyung Tan for the Council. Discussion with the Martin Scorsese, the Film Foundation, non-profit organization dedicated to film preservation about its restorations. The restored version was selected for screening in the Cannes Classic section of the 2015 Cannes Film Festival and play at a number of other film festivals. Bayan. This is my country. A laborer, Philip Salvador, gets money for his wife, Gina Alahar, pregnancy from his boss on the condition that he not join the union. And the last film, Oracle Nobis. It is a, a 1989 film that is that violation of human rights and liberalism of the administration in its support for vigilantes for the purpose of fighting for medicine. The movie was set in the time when violation of human rights were rampant despite the belief of the people that the dictatorship has already ended. After the people power revolution, which, which in fact Evicted Marcos from the throne of the dictatorship. Political prisoners were released, including a priest activist Jimmy. Jimmy, together with the other, believed that one, once the new president takes his oath, atrocity will end and uh, they will be peaceful. After his death in a car accident in 1991, he was posthumously given the National Artist of the Philippines for Film Award for having made a significant contribution to the development of the Philippines art.